Hey folks, you know that sometimes when you get you see the knife, <coughs> you handle it in person. You see it first, and you said it looks pretty cool, but then you see it in person and you handle it, and it just like instantly becomes a, like a gray knife to you, and just, just you want you don't stop finding things about it that just amaze you. This is the knife. I actually happened to see this. I think it was two days ago. It it popped up in the call for sale in the on USN. I was like, that looks really cool, and but I wasn't sure about it because the description. I never like studied this. I never I heard about it, but never like paid attention, close closer attention. I think they actually talked about it in the video what Blade from Blade HQ did about GNG Hawks. It was an amazing video. Like it was like a short documentary about the makers, made the maker. It was amazing, and uh, I never paid close attention to the inner workings of this knife. And in the description, it said that it's a non-locking knife, which in a sense it is. So that kind of threw me off because it's not a cheap knife. It's, it's definitely not a cheap knife. It's pretty expensive. But you know what? Seeing it now in person and seeing how much machining and how much you know engineering had to go into this, you can totally understand that. And actually, instantly became like my like a grail knife. I'm on a mission to get this one day. I'm actually probably gonna probably contact the guy who is selling that one on USN. It's just nice clean lines, you know, very s similar to what I like in my knives too, the shape wise. And uh, man, this is insane. So you see, there is actually complicated, like a kind of like a lever mechanism and kind of like a little spring mechanism on the inside. So, and you have like a flipper, you see kind of funky flipper here. So you push on this, you kind of fighting the spring, but once you overcome the center point, the spring starts to work for you, so it kind of, you see, it looks like it's spring assisted. It just starts bending the other way and, you know, you overcome the, overcome the center point and it just flies open. The thumb stud is actually a stop in an open position and so is also this. And the cool thing is, notice that the handle, notice the bottom of the handle, what it does. See how it travels back and forth, kind of? So even though it is non-locking knife, you hold this, you cannot close it. It's just ingenious. So you hold the knife, you use the knife, you just physically cannot close it. Plus, it has this little thing here, look at that. You flip this, you see that thing? You flip this and you locked it. You know, it's like it rattles a little bit, but it's actually locked, it cannot close. It's just freaking ingenious. So there you go, you have a Simple, super perfect like operation. Even with the thumb stud, with the flipper, whichever you pick, it's just insanely, it's awesome. I, I cannot even describe other than freaking ingenious. And also the details, the the way the top titanium, like a kind of like a, it's not even an inlay, the top thing thingy of titanium on the bottom titanium, everything nicely chamfered really nice chamfering on the inside they have their signature pocket clips that is i really like it it looks so cool in the pocket you wouldn't believe it just really really nice cool look to it the pocket clip the look at this the stoppings the i mean standoffs and the little backspacer in the back it just everything is super nice i'll try to show you the inside if you can if you can pick it up with the light it's like nicely polished, you know, like you see it here on this side, so it's the same thing from the opposite side. Like polish and then anodize, and then you have the sand blast or bead blast and a heat anodizing on the top. The thumb stud is anodized, press fitted in. Pretty nice, uh, decently thin uh, hollow grind, and not, not too deep, so it's actually nice and shallow hollow grind. Just such a beautiful blade, and very functional blade shape, you know, the drop point, nice drop point. I'm telling you guys, this is, I'll trade my kidney or liver for one of these. It's just beautiful. It's one of those knives that just left me speechless and I was begging the guy, the new to knives actually, buddy of ours, he stopped by today at Tough Times, he brought his, his knife. This is not often where I'm begging somebody to sell me, <laughs> sell me a knife. And I really was begging for this one, he's not gonna sell this, I'll have to, I have to try to see if I can get the one from the call, but it's kind of pricey, it's, it's pricey and uh, I don't know, still have to think about it, but it's just, it's beautiful, it really is beautiful knife, so guys, hope you enjoyed it, and you know, it's just prototype 
4 out of 20, they made only 20 of them. And I did hear that the Boker is supposed to be coming up with something like that, so we'll see. Hopefully, if Boker can do it, you know, nice, just for the function. It's not gonna be as cool as custom, not even close as cool as custom, but it would be a pretty cool solution for, you know, for a reasonable price of getting this. But you know, honestly, I don't think even Boker is... I think even when the Boker would make it, I don't think it's gonna be cheap, because the... The amount of machining and parts would you need to put this together to work like this that you know that is not frame like that is not light and like anymore it's a lot more complicated than that so I think that I'm I'm, I'm kind of scared that even when big even when a big production company will come out with something like this it's gonna be pretty pricey because it is it is a lot lot of engineering a lot of manufacturing to put something like this together so I think even the production version is not gonna be very cheap we'll see hopefully I'm wrong so guys hope you enjoyed it little little show and tell it's just beautiful 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 amazing knife makers and I highly recommend checking out Blade HQ's videos you know the Meteor Maker GNG Hawk it was amazing really 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 good video so guys thanks for watching take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself